Hey guys, it's Cheeto. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up Visual Studio uh, 2022 and how to retexture items in some of my strings. Uh, this is not going to be the full Poi String tutorial because I'm still working on that, although that will be out soon. I want to spend some more time on it, so just to hold you guys off, I'm going to teach you how to one, set up Visual Studio with the proper extensions, uh, how to transfer code from some of my files into the program.cs, and how to set up the PoiString file in general just to be able to run it, and then I'll show you how to change the physical materials of the objects that you will be stringing together. Uh, to get started, go to, which I, I will have these links all the links in the description of the video. If I can, I'm not sure if YouTube will let me, but if I can post uh, text files and zip files, they'll be down there. If not, the link for my personal Discord and the Discord server where I update all of my strings, will all the links will be there. First place you're going to go is the official Visual Studio 2022 website. Um, I'm going to show you how to get the Windows version because I have Windows. I have never had a Mac. I probably never will have a Mac. I don't know how that will work. Um, if you hop on the server, my buddy Slime Doctor does have a Mac and he, he has Visual Studio working on his Mac. If you have any questions about that, go contact him. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the community. Don't bother with professional or enterprise. You have to pay for those. Go to Visual Studio. Studio 2022 community free download it'll take you to this page and it'll give you uh, this you do want to keep it it is an exe your PC will flag it because it's an exe it is a safe file I promise uh, I already have it downloaded I already have it set up so I'm just going to discard it um, you're going to run that exe and eventually it will take you here where it will show you all of the extensions the only three extensions you need are Python, Net Development, Net Desktop, Desktop Development, and Universal Windows Platform Development. These are the only three you need. 6.9 gigabytes. Um, Python, I'm not entirely sure. I just added it because I'm on the edge about it, and I don't have good enough internet to undown or to uninstall and reinstall until I figure it out. Uh, I already, I am already using. Visual Studio 2019, so I'm not going to install 2022, but that those are the only ones that you will need, those three extensions, so to go over them, uh, once again, you'll need Python development, Net Desktop, desktop development, and Universal Windows Platform development. Those are the only three you need. You don't have to mess with any of these over here. All you got to do is click install. You might as well install it. Uh, depending on how fast your internet is and depending on how long it'll take. Make sure you have enough space on your computer. It's only uh, about 7 gigabytes, but it should be fine. It's just because I have one of my projects open. I'm going to let that go. Uh, once you have that set up, you will want to download the PoiString Cheeto file that I have either in the description or in the Discord. So, yeah, I'll just close out. I have it on my desktop right here. Um, you're going to get a file. It's not going to be this. It's going to be a zipped file. I have WinRAR, so it has the special icons. Um, you, this is what you're going to need 7-zip for, which is also in the description. You'll need to download the this download right here, the 64-bit version. Uh, it'll give you an exe, you'll run the exe, and it'll, you'll be good to go. Then you will just right click on it, go to 7-zip, and go to extract files, and it'll give you a file like this. Once you get this file, you'll right click it and go to open with Visual Studio. Ah, it's because I'm downloading. I'll pause that. There we go. So 
So then you'll run this up. Once you get it running, uh, it, you'll have a blank screen. It'll look like this over on the right. You'll have the one file. You're just going to keep dropping down menus until you see program.cs. You're going to double click that and it should pop up with my stubby string. Uh, so here, it's really simple. It's just wherever you see the new ATT types components, physical material, you're going to do physical material dot and then whatever material, like I have iron for these. Um, if you know all of them off the top of your head, you can just start spelling it out and it'll autofill for you. If not, just a backspace until you get rid of that period. Press the period and it'll give you a list of every um, material that you are able to use. So if I wanted to have the handle made of aluminum, I could just put aluminum. Uh, handle made of ash wood, brass, which doesn't work in Quest. Iron, mithril, oak, and literally any of these. Uh, you can mess around with it. Any objects like metal handles like this that do not change textures when you change the texture of the object will still keep the properties of the material you're texturing it as. So if I texture this handle short cool as Evanon, which is Valium, uh, it will have the properties of Valium. It will have the durability of Valium. Um, other than metal handles, there shouldn't be too many things. Like if, if you happen to make something with flint, you can texture Evanon. It'll have a bit more durability. I'm not sure about the damage. Uh, I'm also not sure about weight, but I do know that it, will, it does take on the properties of the texture that you put it, even if it doesn't change the visual textures. Next, I'm going to show you how to take a different string and input it into here, because this just sets you up for the stubby string. If I take something like a Blue's Phantom Guard Mega Axe, where I have the original string and the poi string, you can ignore the two numbers, just copy from using system all the way to the bottom. Control C. And then here you just want to control A and backspace to get rid of everything and then control V. And then it'll give you the entire string for that. And then you can go and change individual each part, uh, whatever you want, whatever texture you want, you can have fun with it. Uh, to run the string, uh, if you have a full keyboard, you can press F5, and then you'll wait a minute, and it'll pop up this window. This is your string that you're going to spawn in. Uh, if you don't have a full keyboard, I know some keyboards have FN, then you can press 5, so you hold FN key and then you press 5 and it'll run it. Or you can just go up here and press the green arrow, and it'll show up. Now, to run the string, you can go to whatever server you want here. I'm just going to get rid of the player list so I don't give people's names out. You can go to your server that you have to have admin on. You'll have the command runner. You're going to do... Here, let me copy this. Um, always make sure you copy everything. Make sure you copy from the last comma all the way up to the first number. It, it, some of my strings are really, really big. So it will take up the whole window, so you have to go from the bottom and scroll up and let it scroll up all the way to the top. Make sure you do that, or else it will not work. Um, so then you go to whatever server that you have admin on, and you can run the command runner. Which, if you didn't know, you have to run the not secure version. Because, for whatever reason, it's messed up, and if you don't run the not secure version, it just won't let you run commands. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, you go up here. It'll say HTTPS, get rid of the S, just HTTP. Uh, the command to spawn a string is trade post dash string, and then your name, and then the string. And then that will spawn it for me on my server. That will spawn me a stubby. Um, even if you input the numbers wrong, it will st still say success. So if I go trade post string... Cheeto 35, and then I just put 1. It'll still say success, even though it didn't work and it didn't spawn everything, or anything.
So if it if nothing comes out of the mailbox, just make sure that you copy the entire thing correctly. Uh, you got, I know for whatever reason, a lot of people missed that last comma. Make sure you have that last comma. And that should be about it. If you have any questions, like I said, uh, my Discord server where I post and update my completed string list, where I have my buddy Sparky and Slime Doctor string list, you can go ask questions there, or I will have my personal DMs open. So you can come DM me at ask any questions you want. Uh, I'm open to help you. I will be making the full poi string video very soon. I just haven't gotten to it yet. For now, this should hold you off. You'll be able to mess with my strings, texture them how you want, have texture them whatever you want, your favorite thing. Um, my DMs are open to anything, so if you, even if you make like a just a cool retexture, send it to me. I'd love to see it. With that being said, that should be everything. Double checking myself. All of the links are in the description or on my server, depending on if YouTube lets me put text files and zip files. And that's it. If you have any questions, message me. Have a good one.